Hi, my name is Christopher. I'm the product manager for my systems and access device management offering. Today, I want to give you an update on the recent changes that we've made and also take this opportunity to introduce something new. But let's recap a bit. What is my systems and how do I access it? Well, it's quite simple. My systems is a web portal for accessing all your cloud applications, services, and systems in one place. When you log into my systems, you log into your organization. This organization is what contains the applications, devices, users, and licenses that you have enabled and which ultimately dictates your experience of my systems. Each organization is unique and separated from each other so that we can ensure data separation. In this video, I will log into an organization that has already been configured and got devices installed. I'm logging in as the owner and administrator. And for this organization, I have already invited three colleagues that have viewer access. So let me start by going through the main interface and the menu options that we have. So now we have logged into my systems and we are currently looking at the user management application. Here you can see the four users that we have in our organization. I'm logged in as Mark. Here you can see I'm the organization owner. I have my three colleagues, Alison, Emily, and Evan. They are all viewers in my organization. But zooming out a bit, looking at the main interface. So start from the top right. You see the small icon here that says ML. If we click that, I get to my user preferences. Here I can see if I have any invites to another organization. I can also change the theme from light to dark. And if I so want to, I have a great selection of languages I can choose from. What's interesting is, of course, that these are personal preferences. So this will be settings that Alison can apply to her login or Emily for her login. What's common, however, is the question mark or the information page. Here we have some text about, of course, about uh, and, and what's new, but we also have links to external web. So you have an easy access to the web manual for my systems and the different applications that you are in. We have link to the frequently asked questions and of course our system status pages on access.com. Next is where I can switch between my different organizations. This user is only um, available in one organization, the Labs Limited, that we're using for this demo. But if I had more organizations available, I can choose to log in to them from here. So if we move left from the organization selector, we go to the nine dots representing the application selector. Here we list all the available applications that you have enabled for your organization. We will skip device manager for now and take that at the very end. You can see here that we're currently standing in the user management part of it. If we want to go to the organization management part of it, we click settings. In the settings page, we show some general information about your organization. This can be helpful if you want to reach out to uh, access technical services, or if you just simply want to change the name of it, or if you want to archive it. We also list the different organization owners that we have. Currently, it's only Mark, but if you have a large organization with many different users, it's a convenient way of, of seeing who is the owner and who has that, that access rate. License Manager is a topic all by itself, and we have lots of supporting documentation and training videos, so I won't be covering License Manager anymore in this video. However, let's move over to the last part, Device Manager. With this, I want to take the opportunity to introduce a new product within our device management portfolio. It's called Axis Device Manager Edge. The license for Axis Device Manager Edge is always included in the price of your Axis device. 
It's available both as a desktop client and of course here in my systems, as you can see. It enables core device lifecycle management from my systems, making it possible to do operational tasks, such as managing the Access OS from any computer with a web browser without the need to install additional software. We target this for installations with third-party VMSs. The ambition is to complement those VMSs with core device management capabilities. It will work in parallel and not disturb the VMS operational capabilities while adding further value that Axis wants to provide. From this interface, you have access to core information and capabilities. You see an overview of all your installed devices and information for each. For example, is the device reachable or is it offline? What IP address and name does it have? Which Axis OS version is it running? And the information about the warranty for each individual device. We also show you a bit more information about the current applications that are running on the device. If we take this M1137 as an example, if we hover over the apps, we can see that Axis Device Diagnostics and Axis Video Motion Detection is running. However, both Axis Image Health Analytics and Axis Object Analytics have been stopped. The aim with Axis Device Manager Edge is to provide a way to handle the core operational device management use cases for any type of cloud-connected installation. More videos on installation and getting started will be made available on Axis YouTube channel and in the normal help pages. Thank you so much for watching this video.